At this very moment, wars are ravaging our world, just like they've done since the dawn of human civilization. Like a festering wound, so ingrained has armed conflict become that to even a spouse, the hope for healing can be met with ridicule and scorn. But despite these prevalent pessimistic prophecies, wars are actually fast going obsolete. Researchers like Dr. Steven Pinker have shown that people alive today enjoy the most peaceful world that we've ever had. Better yet, an internet enabled social revolution is building bridges and resolving conflicts faster than ever before, strengthening our burgeoning global society. Still, right now, major military endeavors dominate our media and our minds. Enabled by lies promising freedom and security, these modern military campaigns seek to perpetuate the theft of precious resources, expand parasitic politics, entrench corporatist footholds, and further enrich the already well-stocked coffers of the vampiric military-industrial complex. Soldiers have more in common with the poor people they're overseas killing than the rich people who sent them over there to fight. And it's reasons like that why wars will not be able to persist in the world that we're in the process of building. Being open and interconnected will expose us to the truth of war, that we've been killing people who are no different than us. It's like Archbishop Francois Fenelon once said, all wars are civil wars because all men are brothers. And when we internalize this perspective, something that social media is helping us to do, we will forbid our governments from organizing the industrialized slaughter of our own global family. Sadly, even as the bulk of our world builds peace like never before, part of our planet remains ravaged by remnants of our tribal ancestry. Internal conflicts where warlords, sectarian violence, and civil strife reinforce the cesspool of war-torn desperation, spawning new generations of ruthless characters to fulfill the devastatingly endless cycles of violent inhumanity. Fortunately, just like international war, these intranational wars are also on their way out. XPRIZE founder Peter Diamandis and others can foresee a future of abundance where, thanks to technology, we can readily meet the basic needs of every human on Earth. When no part of humankind is starving, a tremendous burden will be lifted off of our species and tensions will ease around the globe. New developments will also bring heightened levels of transparency, giving us the means to excise the systemic corruption that plagues both developed and developing worlds alike. Yet, until we do step into this brave new world, the apparent inevitability of war will fulfill its own prophecy. To not believe in the potential for peace is to not try and stop the violence. The defense industry, with the billions of blood-soaked dollars that it generates, it won't stop on its own. And without millions of voices acting in unison, the war machine will continue to enable humanity's own self-destruction. Thankfully, the evolution towards peace will continue to happen almost naturally. As technological breakthroughs bring more of the ingredients for peace, it will help us to foster the mental breakthroughs needed for humans to embrace hope. And when enough of us have hope, when enough of us are daring to dream, the dream will become a reality. I'm Peace Nick Rick with WorldPeaceIsComing.com reminding you to stay positive.